here are the exact timings you need for English language. Here they are, so AQA expects you to read for at least 15 minutes to understand the text. Within those 15 minutes, you do need to do question one though. So after about 10 minutes of reading, do question one and then read the extract again. Question two and three, 10 minutes. Question four, 25 minutes. And whatever you do, you must leave 45 minutes for your creative writing. That's really important. For paper two, it's almost the exact same. See here? The only difference here is that question three is now 15 minutes and question four is now 20 minutes. Question five, you must leave 45 minutes again. Here are the exact timings for English literature. For each text, whether it's Shakespeare, modern drama, poetry, but not unseen poetry, you should spend 15 minutes on each one. Personally, within that 15 minutes, I try to do 15 to 20 minutes planning and then the rest writing. Planning is really important, don't underestimate it. Now for unseen poetry, you spend 55 minutes on this. You should spend 35 minutes for question one and 20 minutes for question two. Within those 35 minutes, I personally would spend 10 to 15 minutes planning then 20 to 25 minutes writing. For question two, you should try and do five minutes planning, 15 minutes writing, but if you can't, 10 minutes planning, 10 minutes writing is all right. How to sit GCSE maths. So each paper is the same, one hour and 30 minutes. Disclaimer, this is what I did. If it doesn't work for you, uh, try something else. Within that hour, 30 minutes, I spent around 45 minutes to one hour answering all questions. Depending how long it takes you to answer all of those questions, you can spend around 30 to 45 minutes double checking your answers. The amount of times I made so many silly mistakes, double checking really saved me. How to sit GCSE triple science. All of these papers are now in 45 minutes. Within that time, I would spend between 45 minutes and one hour answering all questions. And then once you've done that, go through all the pages again and make sure you've answered, actually answered all the questions. Then spend the remaining time double checking. How to sit GCSE RE or RS. In each RE paper, there are four sections. You should try and spend 25 minutes on each section. The timings in this paper are really tight, it's a mark per minute. Question 1 is a one marker and it does not take one minute, it will take like 15 seconds. Same for question 2, you can spend like half the time on that, like one minute. All this time you're saving up, you're saving up so you can double check your answers at the end. Personally, for questions 1, 2, 3 and 4, I was faster than a mark per minute. This allowed me to spend around 15 minutes on my 12 marker. After you finish that section, don't double check it, go right on to the next section. When you finish the whole paper, you should have some time at the end to double check. Double check all of your answers. How to sit GCSE Geography. So Physical Geography Paper 1 and Human Geography Paper 2 are both an hour and 30 minutes. You sit three sections in each paper. Therefore, you should be spending 30 minutes on each section. I would answer the questions in chronological order. If you can't think of anything else to write in a question, leave it. When you've looked at all of the questions in that section, you should go back and answer the questions you missed. Also add to questions like your six markers and your nine markers. Hopefully you can do this within half an hour. Then you've got to do this two more times for the other two sections. Also make sure you're answering the correct questions because this is one of the only papers that you can leave questions blank. For example, if you're doing coast, you do not answer the glacier stuff. It always felt weird to me leaving questions unanswered, but don't even look at that section. The teacher should have told you what sections to leave blank. How to sit at GCSE Computer Science. Both of these papers are an hour and 30 minutes. To be honest, the paper is quite short, so it's, you should spend around 30 to 45 minutes on questions. Once answered all of these questions, make sure you've actually answered every single question by flipping the pages to make sure you haven't missed any out. Then spend the remaining time double checking, triple checking, quadruple checking. You have loads of time.